and hello, hello everybody, hashtag CJ McKay here, against Fall Jeroka, D and Dragon Projects, and my Predators vs. Alien series. In the last episode, we saw the creature you can see behind me, it seems to be some sort of hybrid alien slash predator, I'm hoping I get the file at some point for being the abomination that it is. I'm gonna let the rest of this cutscene play out, and then we'll get straight into the action. Here we are now, everybody, straight into the action of my Predators vs. Alien series, which, if you haven't seen so far, essentially, will cover the lore of the Predators and Aliens movies, and also much follow the team of the uh, movies, in that it will follow an invisible creature picking off a bunch of Marines one by one, in some of the most gruesome ways possible. And collecting trophies along the way. Um, like I said, I'm going to be covering the lore of the movies, because I think Predator is starting to become an overlooked horror movie of of its time. I know a lot of people, most people think of it as an action movie, but it really is truly horrific at times. Aside from the gory methods in which the creature kills its prey. Oh, look at all these idiots. Just it, it has a lot of, see the thing is, it does get called an action movie a lot, because it has stuff like this game has gratuitous amounts of shooting, just at nothing. But one thing I think that's really forgotten about Predator is when people originally went to see the movie, not everyone knew it was an a, a movie about aliens. It, The movie, for a huge amount of time, doesn't show you the creature. It shows you the world through its eyes. But it's not till about 40 minutes in we get the slightest glimpse of it and realise it might not be human. For a long time, the, the people who the Predator is hunting, which is um, just like a group of uh, military uh, um, soldiers in a jungle on a rescue mission, it they think it, what's actually been picking them off is the guerrilla forces, and the, the audience are led to believe the same thing, but as it grows deeper into it, people be, we all begin to realise 40 minutes in as we get a glimpse of its hand and realise that that's claws. I think it, it, it's a great movie that it's altered by time so much because now that everyone knows that it's a movie about aliens, it, it actually changes the connotation as you sit down to watch it when you know what the creature is. But going in, I can't imagine what this movie must have been like for initial viewers who just got went in thinking they were going for another Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Weathers action movie and what they ended up getting was this strange sci-fi horror that really it it, it t i'd say it took people in a much different direction than they thought the movie was going to be on in oh now there's a lot of guys here i should probably work my um creepy predator magic and start picking them off one by one one and get number two. Oh, i didn't get that other guy you die where'd you go oh he's hiding you die yeah okay now i'm pretty sure yep there's still guys up there 
Oof. I have to say, I really do love the onslaught of weaponry you get in this game, but um, one thing that disappoints me a little bit are the health shards. Health shards are what you use in this game to um, get your HP back up, and it's a little disappointing because in the movie, I'll show a clip of it now, the Predator uses, like, sutures and actually does in-field, like, on-field surgery. It's, it's quite gruesome and amazing. Now, there's a ton of um, green blood which you just seen from the clip th that I showed everybody, which is the colour of the Predator's blood, but I'm not sure if that's Predator blood because I am chasing a hybrid, something that's part alien and part Predator, and I'm not sure that could be from it or it could be from one of the other Predators who's down here with me. Now, I'm going to wait for this elevator, so I'll see you all in just a second. Since it's about the halfway point of the video, I thought I'd throw in this little clip from last time. Um, as you can see behind me, what I'm calling the hybrid is currently ripping the head off a human. That is something very specific to Predators, which is why I think that one of the main reasons I think this is a hybrid. You'll note as well, it's taken just now, it's taken the spinal cord and all. Very, very Predator like. Um, and the main touch as to why I think it's a hybrid four prongs around the mouth. My elevator's just arriving now, and I'm going to get to do one of my favourite things about the movies, is I get to utilise all these cool alien weapons, just sending people off on wild goose chases, and doing as any good predator should do, separating the weakest from the herd, and then just eviscerating them. But, what, predators, what is truly scary about them is they don't hunt for you know, a meal, they, they hunt purely for sport, they live for the hunt, it's everything they know. Um, the, the Predator movies are almost a little bit of a buddy cop movie. We've got Carl Weathers and Arnold Schwarzenegger, and they have that classic buddy cop pairing of one black guy and one white guy. And I, I, I don't like to identify people by race, but that is the classic buddy cop pairing. But on top of that, we've got, like, one's a desk jockey and, a jockey and the other's a bit of a maverick. They don't, no longer agree on the ethics of how war and stuff like that should be conducted. It... it it makes for a really interesting movie because you've got the buddy cop aspect, you've got the horror aspect, and you've got the um, action a a aspect of it, which is, I think, why the Predator movie has taken on this whole world of its own and I got such a big expanded universe. Ooh, now what's going on here? Oh, I've just realised what we're actually seeing there are the Marines from the human storyline of this game. Within the Alien and Predator game, you can play as humans, Predators, or Aliens. I figured it'd be coolest to play as the Predators, because they are the most unstoppable of all the creatures. They can go invisible, they have shoulder-mounted laser cannons, they can throw their enemies' voices around the battlefield to confuse them. They're basically unstoppable. Within the movie, people just, like, come at them with, like, miniguns with grenade launcher attachments, and they just keep fighting. Right now we're seeing a few humans just like on uh, uh, on guard, and as is the tagline of the movie, no matter who wins, we lose. I'm pretty much gonna fuck all these people up pretty badly now, but I'm gonna let this play out for a second. Here we go, see the aliens come in and now the predators do this thing as well, I mean mankind just hasn't got a hope in hell, because, you know, Two forces of aliens just coming in and waging a war against each other, and oh, poor little mankind all trapped up in between. Um, anything still alive in here other than me? Yes, there is. You die. Oh wow, I think. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I killed two things with that one blast there. Very happy. 
So the Prellers, oh, go by many different names. Um, I've mentioned they have like kind of a species name. I mentioned both of those in the last episode. They also um, get called a lot the, the demons who make trophies of man. Because um, I was talking in the last movie about how um, pre within the Predator movie, we're not sure if this creature is actually hunting mankind from the first time or not. But it is actually mentioned within the movie that they have been hunted. The, the one Predator we see has been hunting the natives in the area for like a couple of generations. Oh, oh, now you get away from me, you xenomorph scum. <laughs> Xenomorphs being the main pre uh, prey of predators, um, which, oh, uh, getting health shards, screw you health shards, you're useless. Yeah, um, xenomorphs are hunted for sport by the predators. Here we have one of their queens just burning in flames. I wish I kind of had gotten to do that myself, but unfortunately for me, no. Oh shit, evacuation is, is advised. Time to get the shit out of here. Oh, that's not good. I know what they are. They're facehugger eggs. You get the hell away. Oh my god, facehuggers. Oh, facehuggers for anyone who doesn't know, rip a hole through John Hurt's chest in the first Alien movie. John Hurt playing, who played the war, war doctor and the elephant man. Just for anyone who doesn't know the actor by the name. And um, what I'm doing right now, we've seen already throughout the series, um, when a predator dies, they use their armband to blow themselves up because they can't allow their technology to fall into the hands of, I just got some sort of awesome blade. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh yeah, the device I just picked up is called a smart blade because it points to where my laser sights point, so I can just direct it as it goes. It comes back like a boomerang. I'm just destroying alien uh, uh, xenomorph eggs with it. This is beautiful. One thing I love about the Predators is their cool laser sight, the kind of tri-beam laser sights, I think they're called. That's what I call them anyway. Fucking face huggers, get the hell away from me. I hate these eggs so much. But, um, oh god, this new weapon is just glorious. Okay, now this place is blowing up around me. That's not good. I um, think I'm going to probably have to get the hell out of this uh, place. Um, and I think most likely the Xenomorphs are on their way to try. Yep, there, here they are to come stop me. Um, now, I do, I have to say, I love fighting Xenomorphs, and I, I guess it's, it makes sense that I do, because Predators hunt Xenomorphs for sport because they feel they are the best prey. Their acidic blood makes them hard to fight without getting killed yourself, and I, as a species that live for the hunt, it makes sense that they need the greatest prey. Which is where mankind starts to come in, as one or multiple Predators start to realise we might make for an even better prey. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to fight my way out of this place, and I think, yeah, I'm going to have to destroy, like, pr put this fire out and wait for the water to take it out. And um, I think the video is probably going to end up soon, so I'm going to talk a little bit about my Monster Mash feature, which this series is for. This is a mini-series I'm shooting for the Monster Mash. This is for my um, Triple Threat Thursday, where I tend to put up three videos on a Thursday. I do it sometimes. This is the first Triple Threat Thursday for my um, Monster Mash. Oh, shit. Now, I'm nearly out of health. Um, now, I was complaining a little bit earlier, about how I don't think the like um, health shards are as cool as whipping out like midfield sutures and morphine and stuff, but it is a lot easier in battle. So I do understand from a gaming perspective why they added that feature in, and I, I guess it makes sense that like the predators would evolve and get better technology over time too. Holy shit, though, these these xenomorphs are all up in my ass. But, um, yeah, this is my Triple Threat Thursday. I'm also releasing um, Shadow Warrior. That should have been the video out before this. And my next video, I'll leave that as a surprise for everyone who um, comes in later. Screw you, xenomorph. I love this smart blade. It is just beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the video's going to be ending up soon. So I really just want to say I hope you've all enjoyed this video so far. Goddamn acidic. You get away from me. Right, I'm going to... Yeah, right, I want to make a trophy out of it. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Oh, I got a secondary mouth. Oh, I wish I could put that up on my wall behind me. Oh, yeah. Um, right, this is pretty much the end of the video, everybody. I'd just like to say thanks for dropping by, and I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. The other day, I was going down to my girlfriend. I said to her, Jeez, you got a big pussy. Jeez, you got a big pussy. She said, why did you say that twice? And I said, I didn't. See... Because of the echo. Well. Skin a bit,